Hi, this is Edgito and welcome to another video in the series on Excel tips and tricks that I'm doing for you. So in today's video, we will be looking at the if statement, or sometimes also known as the if then statement. So I'm just going to go to um, a new sheet and uh, I can actually use some of these. So let's say I'm going to, well, it doesn't really matter where I click, but I'm going to click there. And what I want to do is I want to say if that cell is equal to the word John, then uh, say yes, otherwise or else say no. And it looks like this. So equal, it always starts with an equal sign, equal if, open bracket, then I click on the cell. So if that cell is equal to the word John, so if that is true, comma, show the word yes. I put that there so you can see that it's a logical test and the value if true then I put a comma if the value is false I'm going to say no close bracket and enter so there you can see if B equals the word John if B is equal to John which it is if that is true show the word yes otherwise show the word no so if I just copy it down well I can copy it down all the way really so if I copy it down you can see there that cell is not equal to John so it says no and then over here there is another John so it shows the word yes so it's very simple there are three things you need to look at you've got your um, logical test your condition and if that is true you do this if it's false you do that that is a if statement um, you can also do it with math so let's say I've got the number three over there I can do exactly the same thing let's just put a four over there so I'm going to say equal if open bracket the logical test is if that cell is let's say smaller than smaller than 4 comma so is that if true um, then I'm just gonna say I don't know good or well done or something like that so I'll say good and if it's false I say bad I mean obviously you can do anything you want inside them just given an example so we look at it so E6, that cell is less than 4, because it's 3. So if that is true, you show this, and if that is false, you show that. So if I go one further, now it says bad because the cell is not less than 4. It is um, actually equal to 4. So that's how it works. So then I want to show you guys something else. So that's the if statement. So if I go back to this one, remember I told you I'm going to show you how we can sort these things out. We don't want those to appear. So I'm going to go to this cell over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an if statement saying that if this cell is blank, then show a blank cell, else or otherwise show the v or do the VLOOKUP function. So this is how it works. So I'm going to go after the equal sign because you always have to start with an equal sign. I'm going to say equal if, open bracket, so if that cell is equal to nothing, if it's blank, comma, that's the logical test. What value should I show if it's true? A blank. I'll just do double quotes. Otherwise, or else, I do the VLOOKUP. Now you can see again, I open a bracket, I open a bracket, then I have to close that bracket, and then I also have to close that bracket. So I close the bracket, and you can see temporarily they both go bold. I press enter nothing has changed but now you'll see when I go down to there suddenly these are blank because it's now showing because this one is blank it's now showing a blank otherwise if I actually select something here for example Cinderella it then shows that it then runs the else part of the statement so if that is true do this otherwise do that if it's false do that part I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much.